In this video, I'm thrilled to get you through installing any Switch root Linux variant directly onto your Nintendo Switch eMMC chip using a simple Linux bash script that makes the process a breeze. Let's get started. According to the Switch Root Wiki, we can install Linux or Android directly onto the Nintendo Switch eMMC chip by resizing the user partition or wiping the entire chip. This method is highly dangerous, as one wrong move could break the console. Enthusiasts are drawn to it, believing it runs smoother than the SD card setup. But to truly know the difference, you'd have to experience it yourself. To follow this guide, you'll need a modded Nintendo Switch, and the variant is compatible. Next, to run the best script, you'll need a Linux environment. For this tutorial, I'm using Ubuntu, but any Linux setup should work just fine. You can also run Ubuntu in VMware Workstation if that's your preference. Just a heads up, I won't be diving into how to install Ubuntu on your computer in this tutorial. Before proceeding, let's ensure the console is healthy. Start by launching the SysMMC CFW. Now reboot the console. If you have a working MUMMC, feel free to launch it as well. It won't be affected, but don't worry, I walked you through it, and it will make sense later. Again, let's reboot the console to get back to Hecate. Next, we'll dump to Joy-Con BT data. Just head to the NYX settings and click Dump Joy-Con BT to get it done. Now we must back up the console's NAND. This step is mandatory. Failing to do so will definitely break the console and the recovery is tough, so let's not risk it. Next, go to Tools and select Backup EMMC. Then choose eMMC boot 0 and boot 1. Now close the page and select eMMC raw GPP. This process will take a while to complete, so feel free to sit back and relax. In this section, we'll be using Linux exclusively. Linux excels at managing partitions, making it much more effective than Windows for this process. Open the browser and get into the Switch Root Linux eMMC Flasher GitHub page. Then click the Releases page. And download the Flash Linux SH file. Click the folder icon to open the folder with the downloaded file. Right-click the blank space, then choose Open in Terminal. Now let's make the file executable. In terminal, type chmod plus x flash underscore linux dot sh. Next, run the script by typing sudo dot slash flash underscore linux dot sh. And then type in your Linux root password. Now, select your preferred Linux variant from the menu. For this project, I'm going with option 4, Ubuntu Novel Unity Edition. The script will now download the latest build automatically. Now, 
Now the script will unpack the package, create the config file, and get the image ready to flash onto the EMMC chip. Return to your console, which should be running Hecate. On Hecate, navigate to the tools page, select USB tools, turn off the read-only option, then choose SD card. Then grab a USB Type-C cable and connect your console to your computer. Once you connect your console to your computer, you'll see a USB icon appear on the Ubuntu dock like this. Then, press enter in the terminal window and the script will detect the mounted SD card drive. In my case, the mounted SD card drive is labeled as SDC, but yours might differ. So I type SDC and press enter. The script will then copy all the required files to the SD card, placing them in the correct folders and locations. Once the SD card process is complete, right-click the USB icon on the Ubuntu dock and select Eject. In Hecate, select Close, then choose EMMC Raw GPP. In the terminal, press Enter. The script will detect the mounted GPP partition. In my case, it's labeled SDC, but yours may differ. Type SDC and confirm twice to proceed, as this will wipe the entire EMMC chip. Warning, if you haven't backed up your NAND, Stop now, or you risk breaking your console. After the flashing process is complete, you can choose to keep or delete the downloaded files on your computer. I decided to delete them. Return to the console and disconnect the USB cable. Navigate to the Hecate's homepage, select More Configs, then choose Ubuntu Noble. Continue setting up Ubuntu. For convenience, I'm using a wireless USB mouse and keyboard connected via a USB on-the-go Type-C adapter. You are all set up. Explore the Ubuntu world freely. Connecting to the internet won't affect your console or risk a ban. To return to Hecate, click the Joy-Con icon at the top, select Reboot to Config, then choose Hecate menu. Once you're back in Hecate, let's launch the SysMMC CFW and check out what happens. You'll see an error, which is normal since we wiped the EMMC chip. Now let's try launching the MUMMC. It runs perfectly since the MUMMC is stored on the SD card which we didn't alter or wipe. If you're bored with Ubuntu and want to remove the Linux on the EMMC chip and restore the SysMMC function, please follow these steps. Relaunch the Ubuntu. Click the mounted switch SD drive. Navigate to the backup folder and open the Elfen numeric folder inside. Select all the raw NAND files and drag them into the Restore folder. 
boot back to Hecate by selecting Reboot to Config and choosing the Hecate menu. On Hecate, click Tools, then select Restore eMMC. Click eMMC Raw GPP. Then press the power button to proceed. This process will take some time, so please be patient. Now, close the page, return to the home page, and try launching the SysMMC CFW. There you have it, you are back to the starting point. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.